I'm glad to have you all join us. Uh, my name is Haley Pottle. I'm the Program Recruitment Manager um, with the Institute of International Education, which partners with Mohammed bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence. You might have heard the acronym MBZUAI. I'm really pleased to be doing a series of interviews with current um, fantastic students at MBZUAI who hail from different programs as well as um, different degrees um, from the university to learn about their experiences and hear um, why you should apply to MBZUAI as well as some of the best tips as well as um, just reflections on their experience so far. So I'm really thrilled to be here and I will um, hand it off to our current um, student who hails from the Graduate Student Council at MBZUAI to introduce themselves. So if you'd like to share your name, which country you're from, which program you're in and what year, that would be great. Okay, hi Haley. Thank you for the introduction. So my name is Umayma Rahman and originally I'm from India and uh, currently I'm in the second year of uh, my PhD degree. So my PhD, I'm majoring in computer vision and uh, at the moment uh, my research is also based on vision language modeling and uh, yeah, so yes. That's fantastic. And if you could also share kind of what your um, role is maybe with the Graduate Student Council as well. I realized I didn't have a chance to share that either. That would be great. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the Credit and Graduate Student Council, I'm the secretary at the moment. So I basically help with the meetings and also arranging and planning different activities along with the uh, president and yeah, the other members as well. Great, thank you, uh, really appreciate it. So we'll just dive into kind of our Q&A session here. Um, first things first, let's go back to the very beginning. Uh, would love to hear about how you learned about MBCUAI and what initially made you interested in applying to the university? Uh, so back in 2020, when I was applying for uh, my PhD, I was looking for apl applying to PhD degree. I was trying to search for universities that are basically, I mean, professors and universities which are actively researching in AI. So I stumbled upon Mohammed bin Zayed University at that time. And uh, at that time, uh, it was only the first cohort who just enrolled in and we were the second batch. So it was kind of uh, not very clear. So then just to be on the safe side, I kind of uh, looked into the faculty profiles and I emailed the faculty and to, to get an idea about what they are exactly researching on and their background. So luckily I did get a lot of uh, feedback. I mean, I mean, email replies from the faculties. They were very helpful and that really helped me to understand what I can, how I can contribute to the society, to, to, to the field in general. So then, yeah, so that's how I applied to MBZ OAI. That's fantastic and really amazing to hear kind of your own initiative and proactivity to reach out to faculty and learn more directly from the source. That's a really um, excellent um, tip and suggestion. Um, would love to hear, obviously you've named the faculty a bit, so you started to answer my second question, but would love to hear what aspects of MBZ OAI are the most impressive or interesting to you. Again, you mentioned the faculty, but anything about the location, course offerings, the scholarship benefits, um, what are kind of the areas that are the most impressive to you from the university? So yes, so because I'm from India, I also wanted to be in a place which is close to home. So definitely UAE is a very good option for that. Plus, uh, you also, I also have a lot of Indian communities, a very well-established community here. So I don't feel really homesick. And the other important thing is the, the stipend. The stipend is really good. And the accommodation facility that has been provided is also very, very amazing. So when we came here, we were actually surprised to see the such an amazing accommodation and everything. It was it was actually uh, and they even took care of our basic needs because we were in quarantine at that time. So even that was a plus. And other than that, um, yeah. So one more thing about UAE. So so for there are two things about UAE. First of all, this is the only country which has an AI ministry. So you can understand how much they are focusing on AI. And the second thing is that they're really trying to retain the AI talent in the in the in the country. So once we are even uh, we graduate, I really think there's a high chance for us to be uh, to be, I mean, to get a good job uh, in the field of AI and not because yeah, so they are trying to do that. So that's another thing. And UAE is also a very safe country. So yeah, so even in that terms, I thought that UAE was the perfect uh, thing to, I mean, the perfect location to be in. 
And the other interesting thing is that since I've come here at MBZ, uh, I have participated in a lot of hackathons and challenges, which was great. Uh, I mean, interacting with different students and learning so much thing because you learn more when you're participating in these kind of challenges and hackathons. And they are very supportive. The faculty is supportive. The, the, the student affairs is supportive. So they help us they go to the extreme of you know providing us with accommodation if we are going outside the city so that that's an amazing i think not many universities actually help you with that so yeah that's fantastic thank you for sharing all of those different aspects um and just so i'm remembering as well since you're a second year in your phd so you joined um on bcui in 2020 so when you're mentioning quarantine you were kind of at the the height of the pandemic is that right am i remembering that right 2021, uh, 2021, August 2021. Wow, yeah. amazing. Um, and then in terms of the accommodations as well, I remember getting to go out and um, tour the campus and they're individually fully furnished apartments. So they are like fully accommodating. I think you even have a kitchen as well. It's like very well and yeah, very impressive. That's great. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing all of that. Um, and the hackathon sound really interesting and exciting too. So that, again, you perfectly um, segueing kind of to my next question as well. Would love to hear about some of your favorite experiences at MBZ UAI so far. So that could involve, you know, the student community, could involve, you know, events or conferences or anything that's been some of your favorite memories at the university so far. Yeah, so this one was one of them. Uh, I think I answered it before. So yeah, so these uh, hackathons were very interesting. I participated in a number of them and also were in the finalists. Other than that, uh, there were also, so we also have uh, research talks almost every 15 days or every day. We have different faculties coming in the university giving. Just today also we had a talk from the National Taiwan University. A professor came and he gave a talk. So these activities are very good. And along with that, we also have uh, recreational like activities like we go out uh, like because when we are because, you know, only study, study, study does not help a lot. So for a change, we also. Yeah, so we also go like it is organized by the university. We go to different places in Dubai. We also have a student international event. We have UAE National Day. All these activities are also great. And there are conferences where people have attended uh, different conferences where they submitted the paper. So they have also they visited Singapore. Some of them have visited Singapore recently. Some even visited Ireland, all funded by the university. So yeah, this is also amazing. That's fantastic. And yeah, other sides of the world, that's amazing. Um, so I'm going east, I'm going west, amazing. Um, would love to, um, yeah, continue to hear about those. I think um, the vice president Adnan, I think went to Ireland, I think as well. Yeah, that's really exciting. Um, I would love to hear any um, kind of switching gears back to the like application and admissions process. Would love to hear as you are obviously went through the application and admissions process successfully at the, and now you're at the university. Would love to hear any tips you have for prospective students as they're starting to initiate and submit their applications. What suggestions do you have for them to put themselves in a, you know, a good spot in their application? So um, I think the students should really have a good understanding of uh, the concepts of AI, ML, uh, mathematics, and uh, mathematics, statistics, and even programming. And if they have a, a research appetite, like if they have already submitted some papers, that definitely adds to their uh, resume and CVs, even when they are being shortlisted here. So. So normally I think the procedure is that they have to um, go through an exam uh, an, an exam, and then an interview. So the exam is basically kind of uh, a bit rigorous and they have to, so their uh, foundations are tested on that, but it's, it's good people. Um, and uh, after that, they have an interview round. So where your faculty, especially the faculties that you are interested that you have mentioned in the SOP. They get to interview you, get to know about your background and what you have done so far, just to understand what you have done and how you can actually, they can also help you in your research ahead. So yeah, so if you have a research appetite, it's uh, just, just go ahead with it. Talk to the professors, engage with the professors much before you apply. Don't feel shy. They are all there to, uh, they can answer your questions, your queries. They're very helpful with that. And now even more and more faculties are, have been have, have joined uh, MBZOAI. So you have even a broader range of faculties to talk to and to engage with. 
So yeah, so just be, yeah, so it's very important to know what you really want to go on and just engage with the faculty and with students also uh, to know how about the overall uh, application. Yeah. That's great. Really helpful suggestions in terms of what background is useful, how to prepare, um, making sure you're including information about your kind of professional um, and research background and everything. That's great. Thank you for sharing all of that. Um, as we wrap up today's interview, um, we just have one more question left for you. Um, would love to hear just kind of your advice and your guidance to um, say you were speaking with a prospective student who's thinking about applying or interested but isn't sure or a bit intimidated. What would you say to encourage them to uh, submit their application? Um, one thing that I would say if they're intimidated, so yeah, the, for the previous first cohort and the second cohort, we were more <laughs> intimidated. But now if you see the if you see the results. If you see the amount of publications that the students and the faculty has been having for the past, it just in a very short time, it's actually amazing. So there's nothing to be intimidated about. You, uh, I mean, so yeah, there's nothing to be intimidated about. And you can definitely, if you want to just, just ask, I think the best thing is to communicate through LinkedIn, through emails, just communicate and you have all your question maybe one person cannot answer your question some other one someone else will answer your question so i think the one thing that i have learned in the past few years is that you should never hesitate to ask so the more you ask someone or the other will will answer your question so that's there that's great really excellent advice and yes it's always good to ask if you don't ask um the answer is always no so getting to be able to do those things is really critical um, but yes, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being able to share your experiences, your insights, um, as well as your memories from the experience so far at NBC UAI. And we wish you the best of luck continuing your studies. And we look forward to seeing you at future events. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much, Haley. Thank you. Thanks.